6,080 pounds. They literally don't make them like this anymore. An open range 216 rear bath, kind of opposing slide living room, shorter island, but bigger. It's, it's small, but big. You'll, you know what? This sounds stupid. Let's just go inside. You'll see what I mean. No sense to spending, you know, too much time talking about it. It's a video. Let's look at it, right? Well, this is a different kind of couple's camper. Um, you know, they, they don't, like I said, don't build them like this anymore. This is when all open ranges were wide body. Uh, this is a 100 inch wide body product with a 42 inch deep super slide. That is four inches wider body and six inch deeper slide than you normally find in like almost any travel trailer, even still today. Now, the ceiling here, it's actually got a, a north-south sweep as well as a vaulted exterior. It's seven foot tall here in the living room. So this thing has like the feel of a fifth wheel. It's just much, much smaller, something, you know, a half ton pickup could handle. And th th this is the definition of 10 pounds of sugar in a five pound sack. Everything in this RV does a couple different things. Nowhere is there a better example of that than right here. In today's world, you find these L lounges, and we talk all about them all the time here at Haylet RV. But this is what I'm going to call a Swiss Army Super Sofa. It only does everything. Right now, I've got it in extra large lounger mode, although you don't have to flip that extra section out. If you want to just leave it as a normal like bench style sofa, you can do that. Um, underneath that one section, if you do have the uh, sectional like flip out section of the sofa flipped out, you can use that as storage. However, you need to remember that when you close the slide, you need to fold that away. So you need an alternative place to keep whatever you're gonna store under that section of the sofa there. Um, additionally, if we fold everything down, this can become a massive guest sleeper. More than just like a couple kids or an adult. You could, like, if you have adult friends for a weekend, grown-ups, and you want to have a grown-up weekend, you could do that in here. Additionally, uh, you see the little pedestal mount down there in the floor. There is a removable table that you could throw up in here if you need uh, a little bit of a, you know, Dinofa action. Swiss Army Super Dinofa, if you will. <laughs> now, taller ceilings meant they had the opportunity to put a taller set of windows in and storage overhead in the slide. But speaking of storage, let's start right over here where you have kind of like a um, pantry sort of situation going on. And you see that not only that, but over here above what I'm going to dub the coffee bar, we've got more storage space, extra counter space, easy reach outlets, plenty of drawers. And then as we uh, swing around over here, you have what I call the pullout perfect pantry, not to mention a huge uh, drawer below the sink. Uh, nope, stove, sorry. Speaking of sink, that's what I was getting at over here. Huge island. With the RV being a wider body, they had the opportunity to put a bigger island on this, at least the countertop, but it has an overhang for a breakfast bar. However, I said tons of drawers. You only saw a couple so far. If we crack this open and take a look, you see space for a wastebasket, more drawers, couple sponge drawers, then place for like, you know, your dish soaps and whatnot down here below the countertop. And it's funny, Open Range was doing this two-tone thing for a long time and they were kind of ahead of the curve. They caught a little flack for it and suddenly it's kind of becoming the trend either now or again or whatever the case. These guys were kind of willing to do it a little bit differently. It's an eight cubic foot two-way fridge, by the way. So traveling, storage friendly, those kind of things. Not storage friendly, off-grid friendly. I, you know what, guys? I'm sweating my brains out here and obviously I need to get hydrated because I'm, I'm having trouble thinking with the brains and the words. Huge bathroom. Uh, this is the definition of fluffy, friendly camping. If you are bigger folks, or if you're taller like me, you can stand in that shower all day long. Giant fifth wheel shower in a half ton towable travel trailer. Pretty cool. Now obviously there's a shade for that window like you've seen everywhere else. But uh, over here you see this huge linen cabinet built right into the uh, bathroom here. Kind of almost taking a little bit of a page out of Rockwood's book, but if we start down below the sink, you can see some good storage space going on in here all the way up to that ceiling, which again, remember, it goes to like seven foot tall. It actually, it starts at seven foot, and then you see how there's a little gap up there? That's because the cabinet's flat, but the ceiling is uh, swept inside front to back. 
So uh, it actually gets taller. A little peek at me in the mirror there. I usually try to pretend I'm a vampire like I don't have a reflection, which uh, is all a interesting little myth based on the idea that vampires can't, uh, you know, stand silver and mirrors used to be backed by silver. You probably don't care. I'm, I'm like a nerd when it comes to that sort of stuff. I know random tidbits about vampires that don't exist. I think. I don't know. <laughs> All the windows in the slide are going to open for airflow, by the way. Get you some really good airflow. And this is actually a cool thing. If we come over here to our Furion Entertainment Center, TV can kick right around. And they have the TV low mounted enough. If I sit over here on that L like super sofa, you got the perfect place you can kick your feet up. Notice I'm going to keep my shoes off there. I do try to respect things. But I'm a big guy. I could lay down in here, I could take a nap. I got a straight shot at the TV. It's not wrecking my neck. This is awesome. And I know a couple that owned a floor, this exact floor plan for a while, not this exact camper, but a copy of it here from Halo RV, which this RV was also sold from Halo RV originally. And uh, they had like a dozen people in here one time. They were partying at uh, Indianapolis for the Indy 500. And they got along just fine. Now, along with the Furion TV, you've got Furion uh, Bluetooth DVD and soundbar. And since they are all Furion, they all talk to one another with a thing called Smart Sense. And basically what that means is if you pop a disc in, you're watching TV, it'll go, oh, you want to watch a disc? I got you, bro. You know, it's easy that way. Up front, 60 by 80, true queen bed. And if we use our x-ray vision, you can see that there is storage below that. But it's so deep, it actually has this handy little, like, sliding tray, which is cool. Full overhead cabinet space. And being so tall, you're not going to knock your head on that thing. Plus, both sides of the bed have these big, wide-open side stands. Each person's going to get their drawer. Normally in an RV tour, this is about where I wrap up in the bedroom before we sink through the floor and look at the pass-through compartment. But first, an extra vent up top for light and airflow. You can see, like, double central air vents in here. This has a racetrack ducted system. And then across from that, you've got, like, uh, a bedroom entertainment center. No one did, but you could add a TV here. And you could stack stuff up, decorate the shelves a little bit, however you please. But you're not going to have to worry about kicking them. And obviously the bed can go up and down, just like you saw. I had the bed up and down, so the shelf doesn't interfere with anything. Now we sink through the floor. Huge pass-through. And notice how it's fully finished, even at the top section there. It's just those extra little details. Open range really, really, really had my respect during this generation right here. They were really firing on all eight cylinders. They weren't the highest volume. They weren't the cheapest, they weren't the lightest. I really felt they were among, if not, the coolest out there. So once again, we have opposing slides. You've got a 100 inch wide body, which is four inches bigger than industry standard. Then you have a, a 42 inch deep slide over here, which is six inches deeper than industry standard. So instead of a long trailer, it's a big trailer that's just taller and wider. You know, they, they did it different and that's what I always liked about them now. Since we're down here at Haylet RV Brokers instead of Haylet RV, you know, we're only parked a mile apart, but this is our consignment store. You might notice there's some saddle brackets on the tongue behind that power tongue jack. You see how there's a hitch over here? Well, that kind of indicates that the folks are just done camping. So all the accessories that you're seeing here, all that stuff looks to be included with the sale list. So if you don't have an RV and haven't had one, that's, that's you know, extra hundreds of dollars of stuff that you're going to want and need. That you don't have to pay for it's just included that is handy now another thing that's really cool about these this was at the time the only confirmed zero degree capable travel trailer of which i was aware now things like white hawk eagle cougar those are all zero degree proven in today's market but uh this was way ahead of its time in that regard also you see the strong arm stabilizer jacks that are on here i love those things this rv is going to feel like it's on a concrete pad uh, you put those down, you give it just a little crank to snug it up, and the trailer just stops a rocking. Something else I like about this, all the hookups, all this stuff, it's located back here in this rear corner. So our, our power is, you know, there, obviously, where you can see it, but everything else is in this nice little kind of fifth wheel style docking center. And you're finding more trailers like this today. Um, you know, Cougar, uh, Winnebago, Voyage, Eagles, they do stuff like that. Once again, these guys, they, they were ahead of that curve. And those stabilizer strong arm jacks that we talked about, they're not just on the front jack legs, they're also on the rears. I mean, uh, this, this really sturdies up when you hit your sight. 
backup camera ready we're going to get up onto the roof so you can see things like that max air vent cover up there which this along with rockwood they were like two of the only brands who were doing that stuff standard from the factory level which is kind of cool now uh people see oh man we have an awning running over a slide doesn't that really hurt your space not really slides are what eight ten feet deep whatever the case may be and that is only like an 18 inch deep slide out so you do the math you can see that you're going to have a ton of patio picnic space uh remaining and available and i tell you i don't know what it is something speaking to me about this rear corner it's just begging for a beer cooler am i right now you hear all about these different roof membranes out there today and a lot of people have switched over to a PVC based roof membrane. Open range, once again, they were doing it first. So many things that you find on this RV have been largely adopted by the RV industry and you can thank open range for it. Now, this is such a good example of how well the PVC based roof membranes hold up. It looks absolutely awesome up here. It is like stark polar white because it doesn't grow black algae, which is where most of your black streaks and stains come from. It reflects more sunlight. It just, it's a good material. It's not necessarily a deal breaker to me if an RV doesn't have it, but I do like it here. Um, this is also uh, a brand of RV that basically has the exact same roof construction as the Jayco. Open range doesn't call it Magnum Truss, but it basically is. Um, Jayco guys don't like it when I say that, but it, it is. This has plywood roof decking, just like a Jayco. This has aluminum structure in the walls, floor, plywood floor decking, you know. All the factory seals, everything on this is looking good. I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually stored like under a carport or something, because the skin's still gleaming. All this looks good. I mean, it, it, just, it just looks right, Batman. <laughs> There you have it. Give us a call, Halid RV and Halid RV Brokers, where we're at here today. This is our consignment store. We sell these RVs that you're looking at for folks. We've been very successful. The lot's actually starting to look kind of empty. We could use some listings if you're watching this and you're in the area. But, uh, you know, don't let the fact that we're selling this for somebody, kind of like real estate, mess with your head. Whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, everything between, we still do it all. And pardon the dust. Like I said, we've been successful. We are more than doubling this facility. We're knocking down this building. We're putting up new infrastructure. Uh, we're going to have more parking space out here because we seem to sell more used RVs out of Southern Michigan than anybody else. So that sounds good. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone.